Splendid Palace, it's so interesting that apparently Her Majesty, whenever she goes there, always says, why is your palace bigger than mine? What's special about British cars, when they work... <laughs> what would you say is the defining qualities of being quintessentially British? Well, I think that we're, I suppose, a little bit quirky. We're full of irony. So ironic. I think of our British sense of humour is really what the British people turn to in times of trouble. Anybody who spent any time with normal British people would know that we're, a lot of the time, drunk. I began to like Shakespeare by going to see his plays. He knew the variety of human needs and passions. That's the basis of it all, is the jealousy, the love, the hatred, the fear. It's truly brilliant just to meet a fellow queen, especially today where it is the art form of gardening at the Chelsea Flower Show. My great, 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 however many great grandfathers it is, was a gentleman called James Benning. He is the original Mad Hatter that Lewis Carroll based the character on in Alice in Wonderland. It's reported that the Queen has 200 handbags, predominantly Lorna London handbags. I am English, I am British, I am Congolese, I'm Rwandan. I'm happy to wear that complexity with pride. As a country, we're pretty good at friendly appropriation. Beer, English, bitter beer, one of the most famous in the world. That's not English. 500 years ago, we didn't have any hops. Gin, the quintessential English drink. No, it isn't. We got the idea from Holland. Where did the sausage come from, the British sausage? You can't get those abroad, and they're nothing like one. A British sausage, superior to any sausage I've ever had anywhere else in the world. Is that not quintessentially British?